KwaZulu-Natal Premier Nomusa Dube Nube says strides have been made to find alternative accommodation for affected families following the devastating floods in KZN. Nube was giving an update on recovery plans following the event in April. We have identified a place um, and a building with uh, 50 rooms. Um, and that building, uh, we have been working with the owners of the building and I have personally visited um, a couple of times and even with the communities I had um, uh, various visits uh, with this community with the view really of keeping them uh, abreast uh, on uh, the relocation. Um, we are there for closing this uh, shelter called the Truro Hall. Um, uh, amongst uh, many other uh, uh, facilities or other shelters that have been closed uh, so far, the facility where we are moving um, uh, the, the members of the communities um, is the place um, that is quite safe um, in terms of uh, how we are going to be managing the um, access and 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 uh, the ingress and and the exits of people there. Um, it does have the CCTV, uh, CCTV cameras. Um, it's got hot water. Um, it's got um, biometric at the gates um, to identify the residents. Um, it's got kitchen uh, with a number of stoves and it's got fridges, including in. In, in, in some rooms uh, where there are also fridges there. We have also allocated a place for the homework area for, um, for children, um, as well as um, having a, 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 a sitting um, area where they can sit and, 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 and have TV and, and watch TV or interact um, amongst themselves.